Hello everyone, it's me April. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening wherever you are. So for today's video, I will be showing you how to make this French beret. Really fast and simple to make. So if you want to know how to make this, then keep on watching. See ya! So guys, these are the patterns that we're gonna need to make the French beret. This half circle is size 14 centimeters and the other one, this one, is size 7.5 centimeters. So guys, I already cut my fabric. This is how it looks. I'm using this plaid fabric, 100% cotton. But it would be better if you can use a stretchy fabric for this. As I don't have a stretchy fabric, I just used what I have. And it's okay because this French beret will match my pleated skirt, my DIY pleated skirt. If you haven't seen it yet, guys, you can go ahead and check that out. Now we just have to sew these two pieces together. Sew all the way around. I'm using a serger, but you can definitely use a sewing machine if you don't have. And you can even sew this by hand if you don't have a sewing machine. But using a serger is a lot faster. I guess I'm just being lazy. See, that was fast. Remove all the pins, turn it, and iron it. There you have it. This is how it looks right now. We are almost done. We just need to add the lining. You can use any kind of fabric that you want or that you have for this. Make sure that they are facing each other, means front to front, just like this, before you secure everything in place. Now we have to sew this, but not all the way, make sure to let a hold, so that we can turn it later. I'm sorry for the lighting guys, I'm only using natural lighting and sun was playing hide and seek. Just like this guys, as you can see, I let a hole just a little so that I will be able to turn this and I will have a better finish. Voila! It doesn't look like anything right now guys, but do not worry, the iron will do its job. There you have it, this is how it looks after ironing. We just need to sew this all the way around and we are done. As you can see guys, a struggle is real. I chose a lining that is too thin and too slippery. But I finally did it. It took me forever. See, this time we are really done. As you can see, this is a reversible French barrier.
This is the tail, that is how I called it, and this is optional by the way. The length is 6 cm long. Fold it like this and sew it by hand. There you go guys, the French beret. That was fast and simple, right? Make sure the tail is well secured. Now let me put this on and let's see how it looks on me. Thank you so much guys for watching this video. I hope that you liked it and if you do, please do not forget to like, to comment down below if you have any questions and to subscribe to this channel if you haven't yet subscribed. Thank you so much guys, have a nice day and I will see you on my next video. Bye-bye!